Hey guys, so what we're gonna start, we're making the um, garlic butter and herb chicken. We're going to roast it, everything is a roast um, dish. So what we're gonna do to get the garlic butter is we're gonna just mix some butter and some garlic and put it, pop it into the microwave. So that is how I personally make um, the garlic butter. And while that is um, in the microwave, we're gonna start um, with the lemons. I'm just going to cut my lemons, cut my other garlic so that we can stuff the the chicken with the garlic and the lemon so be right back so this is the situation that we do have we have our chicken we have our potatoes washed and diced into eggs no wait uh, uh, yeah fours or eggs depending on how big you want your potatoes and then we have our vegetables that are going to go in last so we're just putting them in a bowl and then seasoning them so that we um, just have them absorb some a little bit of flavor before we start everything out and then we have our garlic and our lemons very simple very easy dish to make and yeah so in this bowl i've mixed my paprika my basil my rosemary my thyme and my parsley so those are all the herbs that i have in here if you have fresh herbs i would recommend you use rosemary because it just comes out beautifully so these are the herbs that i do have and then my garlic butter it's all melted now and it's just smelling so good so what we will do now take your garlic butter spread it all over the chicken uh, make sure you get it fully uh, coated turn it around do the same thing do not be shy be generous with your butter squeeze your lemon onto the chicken massage it in just to get all those flavors out take your spices do the same thing season your chicken very well turn it around season it well well <laughs> Open the chicken, um, the skin, separate the skin and the meat and do the same thing. I like to do this so that I make sure the chicken also has those flavors and everything is just tasty and yummy. Turn it around, open the skin, put your spices, your butter, your lemon in there as well. Just to make sure the whole chicken is well seasoned and will be just delicious. You can also put the spices and the seasonings inside the chicken. Put your lemon and you're done. Sorry, I was washing my hands. <laughs> um, come back, take your salt. Um, you know, just take as much salt as you want and yeah. Now for the potatoes, just do the same thing. Put your spices, whatever it is that you want. Um, I just like to put black pepper and the garlic butter and then put it, them inside the pan. And then I'll season them with the spices later on. So there you have it. So this is what it looks like before you put it into the oven. Um, your oven should be preheated at 140 or 160 degrees, what have you. And that is what your chicken and your potatoes are going to look like before you pop them into the oven. You have to pop them in for one hour, 20, 15 minutes or something like that. But halfway through, you have to take them out and baste them. So we're going to be waiting until that is done. We're going to wait one hour, 25 minutes. And then I've already prepared my vegetables. And I'm now just going to just clear up and just wait. Take your roast out of the oven. Um, spread the potatoes around so that they can get roasted on both sides nicely. Take your sauce that's at the bottom of the pan, reapply it to your chicken and just make sure that that chicken is well seasoned and just lathered in that sauce. Take your leftover spices and spread them around and sprinkle them on the chicken, on your potatoes, 
and just make sure you have well seasoned food and when the holy spirit tells you this is enough then you can stop <laughs> take your sauce leftover sauce and reapply that as well and just make sure that as i said before you have well seasoned chicken we love our chicken seasoned and then just pop that back into the oven So once your chicken is about to be done, take your other pan, um, coat it in oil and put your vegetables in, spread them around, level them properly, put your black pepper, put your salt and I like to also use thyme. Since all the flavor is in the potatoes and the roast, um, you really don't want overwhel an overwhelming sense of like flavors everywhere so I just use my thyme my black pepper and my salt and then I just mix them just to make sure everything is well coated in those um, spices and then I will pop it into the oven so there you go so this is the meal when it's done it's beautifully roasted the potatoes are tender the flavors all locked in the vegetables are crispy and they're so crunchy it's just a beautiful beautiful sunday meal like i can't wait to dig in i hope you guys liked this video you like this recipe and you yeah. That is it for this recipe guys thank you so much for watching i hope you guys found it very insightful helpful and you enjoyed watching it um that is it for this recipe if you guys do happen to make this dish please tag me in all your videos like comment and subscribe and share this video guys thank you so much love and light